You can now use Bitcoin to buy a Tesla, but the story is much bigger than that. Let me explain. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. Elon Musk sent out a tweet stating that you can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. But what I found to be even more interesting in this whole entire story is that he also stated Bitcoin paid to Tesla will be retained as Bitcoin, not converted to fiat currency. And this is massive because over the years, when we see companies and merchants accepting Bitcoin, they weren't actually accepting Bitcoin. What they were doing is letting the customer pay in Bitcoin and then it was instantly converted into fiat. And this is a game changer. We also see with the Mavericks and Mark Cuban, they accept Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, a few stable coins, and now Dogecoin. And Mark Cuban stated that when it comes to Dogecoin, it's real. And why wouldn't we take it? Our payment gateway to support it. We will hodl any we get and it's great PR and fun to take it. So even when it comes to something like Dogecoin, the Mavericks will be accepting Dogecoin, not Dogecoin converted to fiat. And Mark Cuban stated they plan to hodl it. In this case, I don't fully buy into it. I don't see the Mavericks holding Dogecoin, for example, if it drops 50 or 60 percent. So when it comes to merchants accepting crypto directly, this is extremely massive. However, I don't know how it's actually going to play out with Tesla. Yes, you can now have the option to pay in Bitcoin, but I don't think many people will. And this is due to Gresham's law. Bad money will drive out good money. What this means is let's say someone goes to the Tesla store or maybe they're online and they have $50,000 worth of Bitcoin and $50,000 worth of fiat and Tesla is willing to accept either one. The person is going to spend their fiat. Why would they want to get rid of their Bitcoin? And the same is true for something like gold. If you go into a store and you have $10 worth of gold or $10 worth of fiat and the owner of the store is willing to accept either one, you're going to spend the fiat and you're going to hold on to your gold. And same thing as a seller, whatever you accept, for example, in this case, Bitcoin, it is the hard money in this case, the good money. Why would you want to sell it? And the only time Gresham's law is not true is when we're living in horrible economic times. And this is known as Thiers law. And in Thiers law, good money drives out bad money. An example is let's say you go to the store and you have $10 worth of Bitcoin and $10 worth of fiat dollars. And you don't actually have the option this time to use either one because the owner of the store doesn't trust the fiat dollar or that fiat currency. Maybe it's a horrible currency. For example, something like we're seeing now in Venezuela they don't want to take that bad money so you are forced to use the good money but in both cases whether we're in good times or bad times gresham's law or thiers law holding the good money the hard money always wins and in that case it is bitcoin and when it comes to these institutions stating that they're going to hold on to their bitcoin and they don't plan on selling it for fiat again i don't fully buy it even when it comes to tesla and micro strategy I do think there is a point where they will sell their Bitcoin or at least a portion. Just over the last year, Tesla has made more money on Bitcoin this year than on selling cars and batteries. These companies are up. They're up over billions and billions of dollars. So if we do see, for example, a Bitcoin reach 150K or 200K, and then it comes all the way back down to 50 or 60K, as much as it sounds good on paper, right? We're going to hold on to it. We're going to keep buying more. I don't know if these companies will actually do that. And I want to know what you guys think about that, right? It sounds good in the news. We say, you know, HODL, diamond hands. These companies are never selling, right? I do believe they're in it for the long run. And when there's 20, 30% dips, they'll buy more and they'll continue to hold on. But if Bitcoin crashes again, you know, 60, 70%, will they really hold on to their Bitcoin? And also, I want to state again in this video that we have officially changed the car for a crypto hodler or a crypto lover from Lamborghini to Tesla. It's always been when Lambo, but the new one is when Tesla. So let me know what you guys think. Is this a smart decision, right? Should we really go to when Tesla or should we keep it as when Lambo or maybe something else? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.